As the Russo-Ukrainian conflict intensifies, a new era of warfare technology is shaping the battlefield. Russia's increasing use of precision glide bombs, especially the formidable FAB series, from the FAB 250, FAB 500, FAB 1500, to the massive FAB 3000, marks a turning point. Outfitted with Universal Planning and Correction Modules, or UMPKs, these bombs bring unprecedented reach and precision, allowing Russian forces to strike deep into Ukrainian territory while keeping their aircraft safely beyond Ukraine's defenses. But for Ukraine, intercepting these advanced weapons is no easy task. Unlike traditional bombs, these glide bombs can travel vast distances, powered by aerodynamic wings and sophisticated guidance systems, hitting vital infrastructure and fortified positions with deadly accuracy. Join us as we explore how this new threat is reshaping strategies, testing defenses, and pushing the limits of military technology on both sides. Glide bombs are modern enhancements of traditional free-fall munitions. Designed with aerodynamic wings and advanced guidance systems, they can glide significant distances after being released from aircraft. This feature enables them to hit targets with remarkable accuracy, guided by GPS or inertial navigation systems capable of making mid-flight corrections. The UMPK is a key innovation, converting standard bombs into guided munitions that can travel further stay on course, and effectively evade air defenses. In the unfolding conflict, Russia's deployment of glide bombs has become a game-changer on the battlefield. With bombs tailored for different targets, each brings unique firepower to the fight. The FAB 250 and FAB 500, at 250 and 500 kilograms, are aimed at tactical strikes, hitting smaller objectives with precision. But for fortified structures, Russia brings in the heavyweights, the FAB 1500 and the monstrous FAB 3000, weighing in at a staggering 1,500 and 3,000 kilograms. These bombs can cause devastating damage, transforming even the most resilient targets into rubble. What makes these weapons especially formidable is their reach. Launched from a safe distance, they allow Russian forces to strike deep within Ukraine, hitting key infrastructure, military bases, and strategic points without exposing their aircraft to Ukrainian defenses. This combination of power and precision gives Russia a major advantage, raising the stakes for both sides as they navigate this new era of warfare. Glide bombs have changed the game on the battlefield, particularly due to their standoff capabilities. This gives Russia a powerful tactical edge. With the ability to be launched from well beyond the reach of most air defense systems, these bombs allow Russian aircraft to deliver precision strikes without the risk of interception. Precision is another key benefit. Equipped with advanced guidance systems, they can pinpoint strategic targets like military command centers and supply depots with remarkable accuracy, minimizing unintended damage and focusing impact where it counts. But it's their versatility that truly makes glide bombs a formidable asset. Designed to be released from various altitudes and distances, they can adapt to a wide range of missions, from destroying heavily fortified bunkers to tracking moving military assets. This adaptability keeps Ukraine on high alert, complicating defensive strategies and forcing constant adjustments to counter a threat that seems to be everywhere, yet always just out of reach. Defending against glide bombs poses a significant challenge for Ukraine. Unlike traditional munitions, glide bombs have low radar signatures and often fly at low altitudes making them difficult to detect and intercept. The short window of time from their release to impact further complicates defense efforts. While Ukraine has received advanced air defense systems like the Patriot and the SAMs from Western allies, 
These systems are primarily designed to counter aircraft and larger ballistic threats, not low-flying, small-profile glide bombs. To effectively counter these weapons, Ukraine may need more advanced radar capabilities focused on low-altitude detection and new tactical approaches. Russia's use of saturation tactics, where multiple glide bombs are launched simultaneously, exacerbates these challenges. This strategy overwhelms air defenses, ensuring that at least some munitions reach their targets and amplifying the psychological impact on Ukrainian forces and civilians. The consequences of these attacks have been severe. Glide bombs have targeted critical infrastructure such as power plants and bridges, disrupting essential services and straining Ukraine's logistical capabilities. Military sites, including bases and supply depots, have also been hit, affecting Ukraine's operational capacity. The use of these weapons has contributed to significant damage in urban areas, with reports from various media sources highlighting the destruction of residential neighborhoods alongside military targets. Reports have indicated that Russia began deploying UMPK-equipped glide bombs around March 2023, presenting a formidable and consistent threat to Ukrainian forces. Notably, a strike on October 24, detailed by Russia's Ministry of Defense on Telegram, saw a FAB-3000 bomb targeting a Ukrainian UAV deployment site in Kurakov, Donetsk Oblast, resulting in reported casualties and the destruction of military equipment. Russia's strategic use of glide bombs allows it to maintain air superiority while keeping its aircraft safely out of Ukrainian reach. By delivering damage from a distance, these weapons disrupt Ukraine's resupply chains and gradually wear down its defenses. For Ukraine, intercepting these glide bombs at their source offers a potential countermeasure, targeting the aircraft before payload release through tactical missiles, air-to-air -air interceptors, or electronic warfare could help disrupt Russia's operations mid-flight or at air bases. Strengthening radar coverage for low-altitude detection and refining defensive tactics could further bolster Ukraine's response to this persistent threat. In the evolving Russo-Ukrainian conflict, glide bombs underscore the complex dynamics of modern warfare, where distance, precision, and technology redefine the battlefield. Russia's strategic deployment has heightened the pressure on Ukraine, requiring rapid adaptation and creative countermeasures. As this struggle continues, will Ukraine rise to meet the challenge posed by these strategic weapons? Or will Russia's glide bombs continue to shift the balance of power from above? The outcome remains uncertain, but one thing is clear. With each technological development, both sides inch closer to a critical tipping point in this relentless conflict. What are your thoughts on this? Let us know in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe for more updates on the ongoing conflict. Stay tuned to follow how technology continues to influence the front lines and shape the future of warfare. Thanks for watching.